David, again, as you just mentioned, the child in that other car is in critical condition. The driver of that car has died. Chopper 13 shows the damage to that white car after the crash. The front of the car took the biggest hit, which police are no doubt looking at as they try to figure out how this happened. Only on 13 Action News, this is our first look at the little girl injured critically in that white car today. 13 Action News reporter Ma Society spoke exclusively with her family. She's continuing our coverage right now live at UMC with more Masa. Trisha, that little girl is 10 years old. Her name is Priscilla. This morning, her grandmother, who she loves so much, was driving her to school when something happened. They were in the car that hit that bus. The grandmother died. The child was rushed here to UMC. She just underwent surgery. Moments ago, we spoke exclusively with her uncle about all the emotions he's having right now. My mom helped everybody, helped me a lot, helped my brothers, helped my sister a lot. Just a mother, loving mother. How badly is Priscilla injured? She was pretty badly injured. We haven't seen her or anything, just what the doctors have come in and everything went good as far as we know with all the surgeries. So yeah, again, multiple surgeries of family members in the dark tonight as well. They had not been able to see to see and speak with her yet when we spoke with them about an hour ago, but they say that they are so happy she is doing well tonight. The uncle tells me that his mom, the child's grandmother from above is no doubt smiling that Priscilla did survive and we do think that she is going to be okay. Now we did ask about that grandmother's driving history as we try to piece together what happened. Coming up at six, we answered that question along with the message this family has for the families of all of the children who were on that bus. Reporting live, Masa Saidi, 13 Action News.